Three, two, one. No way! Oh, bro. No, 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 how'd you do that, bro? Boys and girls, very recently we were blessed enough to go ahead and find a brand new working season seven double pump glitch. Now, of course, the only type of people who use this type of stuff are the most evilest types that exist in this world. And of course, you came here knowing exactly what you're trying to do here today, man. You're trying to go ahead and get an up one on everyone else around you when you go ahead and try this brand new method. And let me tell you what, bro. I already contacted the police. I got your IP address. They're coming right now because they know exactly the type of shady stuff that you're trying to learn in today's video. But you know what, dude, to be honest, I I I, I kind of want to learn too. I want to be one of those people. Did you see my Fortnite skills? They're not they're not the best, man. And uh, and my stats ain't uh looking too good. So of course today we are going to be learning a double pump glitch in Fortnite season seven because God knows the only way I can win in Fortnite is by a uh, cheating. So very recently, my mom told me that if this video doesn't get exactly 9,999 blue thumbs up, she's going to be putting me to go sleep outside in the backyard. And it's pretty cold, man. It's really cold. And if you over like it, then I'm still going to be sleeping outside. So please leave the like button on that exact number. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand spanking new. Don't forget to turn on the notification so you never miss out on any of my brand new videos. And let's go ahead and get started. So a couple of days ago, I was searching around YouTube to see if there's any working glitches in Fortnite that I can go ahead and play around with with my friends and I so happened to come across a double pump glitch for season 7 and I was like oh hey a working one that's pretty cool it looks like it's now back and it's gonna be the most annoying thing ever so how about we go ahead and take a quick peek to see how exactly this guy did it yo what is up guys I am only doing an intro for this kind of video because I usually don't do my ears bro what's going on here did you like swallow your microphone or something dude <laughs> you almost blew my eardrums off yeah this video is uh this video is pretty long I'm not about to go ahead and sit down to watch a movie just to know a tutorial so i guess we're just gonna go ahead and skip to the part where he's just holding the shotgun and i and i think i think around the the 17 minute mark he he, he pretty much got it here <laughs> Yo, I'm just uh, just kind of curious. Where'd you find these A1 actors? What'd you What'd you give them, bro? What'd you pay them in? V bucks, fidget spinners, Twizzlers. Oh, oh, oh! That was dirty. Oh. <laughs> This dude is hackering. This dude is hackering! This guy spends uh the remaining 20 minutes going through the battle pass. Yep. Alright, so since he pretty much did a double pump glitch only two times throughout the whole 50 minute film here, we're, we're gonna go ahead and break down this exact moment. So, as you guys probably noticed here, look at the time and then look after he goes ahead and kills this dude. Just, just look at it. Now, if you if you caught that, you probably noticed that the time kind of uh, rewinded for a sec. Now, I'm not too sure exactly how broken this glitch is, but apparently it has the power to manipulate time and space to go ahead and be able to finish off the enemy that's in front of you. To be honest, I didn't know the glitch was that broken, but uh, it looks like a couple of people just just couldn't get the glitch to work for them. All right, so since I'm pretty sure you guys are doing something wrong, I'll perform the double pump glitch according to what the guy did in the video, which isn't much. All he did was just shoot the gun. So let's see if this will work for us. Okay, hold on. I think I did it wrong. Let's do it one more time. I'm, I'm pretty sure this time it'll work. Oh, oh, oh. So if you want to do this, it's pretty simple. All you need is a editing software and then all you need to do is just speed it up when you have to go ahead and shoot again. So you're going to notice the, the time kind of gets a little bit weird, like exactly what the guy did in the video. And there, there, there is no uh, double pump glitch. So I guess the guy in the video just uh, 
bamboozled us. I feel cheated, man. I feel really cheated right now, bro. It reminds me of the time when I got off work early and I saw my girlfriend with another guy. All right, people. So since unfortunately that method didn't work, there is an alternative version of the double pump shotgun glitch. Now, of course, I've been seeing this online. People have been testing it out. And from what I've been actually watching people do, it does work way better than the normal way. So of course, we already know that if you just shoot the shotgun normally, there is a delay before we can actually fire it again. But if you have a hand cannon, the time kind of speeds up a bit. So of course, you want to go ahead and switch to the hand cannon before you shoot the other shotgun. Now, of course, it'll work kind of like this. And as you guys saw right there, the shotgun fired way faster than normally. Now, people have been using this way more often than not. I'm pretty sure it's a bug because Fortnite uh, got to fix the fire rate on this. Now, imagine if you're really good at switching between weapons, like how I'm not really demonstrating that good. And I'm pretty sure you'll be able to knock people out way faster than normally. And some even been saying that if you want to make a fire even faster, all you need to do is just jump while you're doing it. It's kind of like this. And as you guys can see right there, it does fire a, a little bit more faster when you actually do that. And I'm pretty sure if you're able to actually aim at the enemy while you're jumping, then you'll be able to knock them out way faster than normally. I mean, I'm pretty confident that it's not supposed to be doing this type of stuff. And Fortnite is going to be fixing this very soon. But until then, uh, you guys can go ahead and start abusing this like crazy. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to be patched very, very soon because... Just imagine if you have this really dirty setup, you can go ahead and start knocking people out really fast, man. Just extremely fast. All right, let's go ahead and test that out one more time. This is the normal way. And this is when you go ahead and jump while you do it. Yep, definitely way faster and better than the normal one. So, of course, it's not the exact double pump glitch that we all know and love, but it is an alternate version of it that we can go ahead and try out. And just let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about it or how it's been going for you if you've been trying out in your last couple of games. But it is something that you should also think about or know how to counter when you see other people start using it against you. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and now showcase some working glitches for Season 7 that I tested out that all work. And hopefully you guys can go ahead and squeeze some fun out of it as much as I did when I recorded it. So I'm not too sure exactly when you guys will ever use this. Pretty much never. But I thought I'd just throw it in here. So all you need is dynamite. And what we're going to be doing here is trying to make it as big as we possibly can. So just go ahead and throw it and just keep catching it and keep catching it and keep catching it. And you're going to notice that it just goes really, really freaking big. Again, all you have to do is just keep grabbing it. And oh no, let's, let's, let's get away from that. Pretty simple. Just go ahead and throw it. And then uh, you're going to notice it just gets ridiculously big. Not sure exactly why that even happens. If you just keep spamming the button, you, 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 you never know the exact size it might just go ahead and shape to. Like sometimes it will go really freaking small and then sometimes it will just stay normal and, and then it goes really freaking big for some strange reason. But other than just showcasing it to your friends just for a laugh, it doesn't really do anything uh, useful. So I'm pretty sure you guys have been in this situation where you were like, dang man, I really want to go ahead and add this item into my inventory, but unfortunately, I'm already filled up with all the stuff that I need, and I just can't make space for it. Well, with this glitch, now you can. You can now add a six item towards your space right there, and you can pretty much use it no problem. So all you need to do, it's very simple, is go ahead and look for a plane, and then you want to drop any of your guns or whatever right next to it, just like that. So now go ahead and pick up whatever you need, just like this slurp juice right here. And then now all we need to do in order to actually activate the glitch is just to run, grab the weapon or item and go towards the plane, just like that. So very simple, shouldn't take you that long to actually do it, just like this. And then your character will go ahead and drop the gun that he's holding. Perfect. So now you want to go ahead and exit the plane and then if you actually go ahead and try to grab it you're going to notice that the weapon is now in your inventory but the only way to actually go ahead and use it is of course drop the weapon that your character is currently holding and then bam there's the weapon just like that 
So you can go ahead and store up extra slurp juice or any healing item that you need. You just need to drop the weapon. And that's pretty much it. It's very broken and I'm pretty sure Fortnite's going to fix this very soon. But now you're able to go ahead and add a six item towards your inventory. Pretty useful. Alright, so this glitch is pretty weird, honestly. All you need to do is just look for one of these zip lines. And then basically what we're able to go ahead and do is to emote while we're actually moving around. And it looks really freaking weird. So of course, go ahead and use the zip line and use one of these emotes that's like a little sign logo thingy. And then you're going to notice as soon as you try to do one of the dancing emotes, like the <laughs> default dance, for example, you can actually do it while you're walking around and then everyone who is in front of you can actually see it. Anyway, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned something. If you did, go ahead and drop a blue thumbs up. It'll help me out so much. And as well, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand spanking new. See you guys later. Peace out and stay safe, everybody.